Countries around the world are increasing the amount of electricity they get from renewable energy, like solar and wind, in an effort to decrease carbon emissions and slow climate change. One of the most promising means is the construction of industrial scale solar farms. Basically, really big land areas that generate electricity by way of either concentrated solar power, which relies on mirrors to reflect sunlight up to a boiler tower producing steam, or photovoltaic solar panels, which generate electricity directly. Both types of solar farms require large expanses of flat land and lots of sun, which makes desert land in the southwestern United States the most appealing. However, the land on which these large-scale build-outs take place can be full of life, which in many cases gets displaced. California state reptile, the Mojave Desert Tortoise, is native to the southwest desert, but since the 1950s, its population has shrunk 90%, largely due to human development in the Mojave and Sonoran deserts. Now, there are only about 100,000 tortoises left in the wild. So, how great is the threat of new solar project deployment to the desert tortoise? The largest concentrated solar plant in the world, the Ivanpah Solar Electric Generating System, is built on five and a half square miles in the Mojave Desert. The California Energy Commission approved the project conditionally, mandating BrightSource, the company building Ivanpah, relocate and monitor all the tortoises found on the site. The Ivanpah Valley, from which the Ivanpah Solar Project gets its name, is prime tortoise habitat. BrightSource anticipated removing 38 tortoises, but biologists wound up relocating 178 tortoises when construction completed. This number did not include up to 90% of the juvenile population on the site, which were not found and relocated in time due to their small size. Even after relocation, tortoises that were moved were twice as likely to die than those in a control group that weren't moved. Tortoises aren't the only wildlife affected by Ivanpah. Up to 6,000 birds a year are routinely incinerated when they fly through the plant's concentrated solar rays. As we expand our use of solar in the Mojave Desert, it's important to consider the immediate environmental effects of the technology. Today, there are at least 15 large-scale solar projects planned for the Mojave Desert, the construction of which will remove thousands of acres of wildlife habitat. We have to consider if the impacts are really worth the power they create.